brothers and sisters, it's such a delight to interact with you today. Thank you ever so much for joining us. This is Healing Streams, the place where God's word transforms lives and destinies. I pray that God will touch every area of your life. In Jesus' name, amen. Today's topic is delay is not denial. Delay is not denial. A few weeks ago, I asked the Lord, what would you like me to tell your children on healing streams? I wasn't expecting, honestly, to hear anything immediately, but the answer came swiftly right on the spot. Delay is not denial. So God is saying to you, delay is not denial. Do you sometimes feel that you've been on a particular journey for such a long time? I feel that way sometimes. Do you feel that you're going round and round in circles or you feel battered and bruised by the storms of life? Do your finances keep fluctuating despite the fact that you're holding firmly onto God's word? If you feel discouraged, if you feel despondent, God is saying, hold on, stand fast. Delay is not denial. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, and it hastens to the end. It hastens to fulfillment. It will not deceive. It will not disappoint. Though it tarry, wait earnestly for it, because it will surely come. It will not be behindhand on its appointed day. The manifestation of your promise, the delivery of your blessing will not be late on its appointed day. So when is the appointed day? Well, this is determined by God. And we know for sure that he thinks differently from the way we do. Isaiah 55, 8 and 9. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. So we may not think the way God thinks. We may not understand him all the time. But we know that God has integrity. He does what he says he will do. Going further in Isaiah 55, God says in verse 10, For as the rain comes down and the snow from heaven, and do not return there, but water the earth and make it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please and it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. God will fulfill his promises to you. His word is important to him. Psalm 138 verse 2 and 3, for you have magnified your word above all your name. In the day when I cried out, you answered me and made me bold with strength in my soul. God's name is great. For God has magnified his word even above his name. God's word will be accomplished in your life in Jesus' name. Delay is not denial. God is actively watching over his word, making sure that it is established. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 12. I am alert and active, watching over my word to perform it. For I will hasten my word to perform it. Let's take a look at the contemporary English version of our anchor scripture, Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 3. At the time I have decided, my words will come true. You can trust what I say about the future. It may take a long time, but keep on waiting. It will happen. You can trust what I, the Lord, the Almighty, say about the future. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. But why, Lord, why the seeming delay? Well, there are many reasons why you may have to wait for fulfillment. Some reasons are revealed and some are not. I remember there was a time I was asking God about a particular circumstance and God's answer was, it's too complicated for you to understand. That was heavy. I pray that God will give me the childlike faith to continue to hold on, even when I don't 
understand. Matthew 17, verse 20. So Jesus said to them, for assuredly, I say to you, if you have faith as a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there and it will move and nothing will be impossible for you. Yes, you can hold on with faith as small as that of a mustard seed, a mustard seed that can barely be seen by the human eye. Trust in the Lord that he's working all things for your good. Romans 8, 28. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the called according to his purpose. Do I hear you say, but I know all this, I know the scriptures, I'm just tired of waiting. Sometimes I feel as if I should give up on the promise, I should give up on my dream. The message is clear. God says, delay is not denial. Hope in the Lord. Wait for it, for it shall surely come. And may the Lord God Almighty strengthen you as you wait for his appointed time. But I have a question. Can the appointed time be hastened, made faster or prolonged? Can an individual go beyond the time that God has appointed? The answer is yes, if that individual get out of alignment with God. Can the appointed time occur faster? Yes, it can, by being in alignment with God. Most of us are familiar with the story in John chapter two, when Jesus turned water into wine. On the third day, there was a wedding in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Now both Jesus and his disciples were invited to the wedding. And when they ran out of wine, the mother of Jesus said to him, they have no wine. Jesus said to her, woman, what does your concern have to do with me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, whatever he says to you, do it. Jesus said to his mother, my hour has not yet come. And yet Jesus went ahead and turned the water into wine, not just wine, but good wine. He instructed, he said, fill the large water pots with water, and they obeyed. He then asked them to do the seemingly ridiculous, take water from the water pots and take it to the master of the feast, and they obeyed. You can imagine how embarrassing it would have been if the master of the feast drank the liquid and said, why did you bring me water? So in this story, we can actually see some ingredients for the acceleration of the appointed time knowing who Jesus is, knowing the power he has, faith, expectation, obedience. I will focus on obedience. Jesus' mother said to the servants, whatever he says to you, do it. This is the key to alignment with God. This is the key, this is the pathway to the appointed time. Whatever God says to you, do it. Don't be tired, don't be depressed, don't be discouraged. Pray some more if it is required. Fast some more. Did I just say fast some more? Yes, fast some more. Give some more. Praise like never before. Give thanks. Read the Bible again. Yes, read the Bible. Listen to that message. Fill the water pots with water. Take water to the master of the feast and expect that the water has already turned to wine. Whatever God says you should do, do it because delay is not denial. And may God give you and I the grace to do his will. In Jesus' name, amen. Should I pray the same prayer point repeatedly? Yes, if God asks you to. Many years ago, I was believing God for a job in a specific oil and gas company. And over the course of several months, I would hear, pray, pray, pray again. And it would come sometimes four times a day, sometimes once in two weeks. And as a younger Christian at the time, I wondered how much prayer was necessary to achieve this promise, but I obeyed. And thankfully, by the grace of God, I got the job that was applied for by hundreds of candidates. I later found out that there were various changes occurring in the company, and I actually required divine intervention to be able to scale through. Things are happening in the spiritual, which you may not understand. That's why praying in the Holy Spirit, praying in tongues is so important, especially when we do not understand God's 
timing. Romans 8, 26 and 27. Likewise, the Spirit also helps in our weaknesses, for we do not know what we should pray for as we ought, but the Holy Spirit himself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Now he who searches the hearts knows what the mind of the Spirit is, because he makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God. He makes intercession for you and I according to the will of God. Yes, God can do it all on his own, but he's brought you and I into a partnership with himself through prayer. Interestingly though, when the answer comes, all glory goes to God. Yes, when the appointed time comes, it won't be by power or by might, but by the spirit of the living God. Zechariah 4, 6 and 7. So he answered and said to me, this is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel, not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. Who are you, O great mountain before Zerubbabel? You shall become a plain, and he shall bring forth the capstone with shouts of grace, grace to it. Do whatever he says. Yes, we must play our part. But when the appointed time comes, it will be through grace, mercy, and favor. Psalm 102 verse 13. You will arise and have compassion on Zion, for it is time to be gracious and show favor to her. Yes, the appointed time. The moment designated has come. The appointed time. The time of visitation. God's timetable is often different from ours. As we know, time is generally defined in the Greek as chronos and kairos. Chronos represents a chronological time that is calculated in minutes, hours, days, months, years, and so on and so forth. Kairos represents a God-appointed time when something is to occur. Kairos refers to God's divine intervention in your life to bring about an event. The event may be previously planned or it may be a spontaneous act of blessing, not scheduled or planned. I pray that you will hold on to your day of visitation in Jesus' name. It may seem like you're running a marathon, that you're a marathon runner. Yes, you are building strength, resilience, tenacity, audaciousness, courage, and boldness. Continue to run. Don't accept the status quo. Don't give up on that dream. Don't let others determine how you should run your race. And don't be weary. Let's trust the one who holds the future in his hands. And may God's word bring you comfort at this time. Delay is not denial. He makes all things beautiful in his time. Ecclesiastes 3, 11. The vision hastens to an end. Habakkuk 2, verse 3. Your expectation will not be cut off. Proverbs 23, 18. And in your life, there shall be a performance of the promises of God. Luke chapter 1, verse 45. And of course, one of my favorite scriptures, for with God, nothing, absolutely nothing shall be impossible. Luke chapter 1, verse 37. We read Isaiah 55 earlier. And in verses 8 and 9, God tells us that his thoughts and his ways are different to ours. In verses 10 and 11, God assures us that his promises will not fail. His words will not return to him void. In verses 12 and 13, God gives insight into the benefits of waiting for the fulfillment of his promises. For you shall go out with joy and be led out with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth into singing before you and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Juniper trees will grow where there used to be bushes that had thorns on them, and myrtle trees will grow where there used to be thorns. That will bring me great fame. It will be a lasting reminder of what I can do. It will stand forever. What God will do in your life shall bring glory to the name of the Lord. Can I ask a question though? Are you entitled to these promises we're speaking about? Access to the promises, access to the Father's treasures comes by accepting God's pathway through His Son, Jesus Christ. 
the promises of God, eternal life, life after life here on earth, the promises of God, health, wealth, joy, peace, abundance, unlimited blessings come through his son, Jesus Christ. Second Corinthians chapter one, verse 20, for no matter how many promises God has made, they are yes in Jesus Christ. And so through him, the amen is spoken by us to the glory of God. And you can accept Jesus Christ and change the course of your life and destiny right here, right now by saying this prayer with me. And the prayer is visible on the screen. Please let us pray. Almighty God, I confess that I have done things my own way. Going forward, I choose to do things your way. I accept your son, Jesus Christ, as my savior and as my Lord. Lord Jesus, come into my life. If you said that prayer, you have joined or rejoined the family of God, or you have reaffirmed that you belong to God. Congratulations if you've just joined God's family. To continue your Christian journey, please join a Bible-believing church. In addition, please send a text message to the number on your screen, 0708-225-6051, stating, I gave my life to Christ. If you're outside Nigeria, please add the code plus 234-708-225-6051. We'd like to help you navigate the next steps. I would like us to take some prayer points together and they're quite a number, so please follow on the screen. Prayer point number one. Oh Lord, my Father, please let me be in alignment with you at all times. Let my faith come alive again. Resuscitate my faith. Let me be expectant. Let me be obedient. Help me, Father Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Prayer point number two. Father, help me to trust you at all times and not lean on my understanding. I need encouragement, Lord, I really do. Encourage me, oh Lord. Give me the strength to hold on till I get to the breakthrough point. Give me the grace to stand. Let your mercy, grace and favor work for me. In Jesus' name, amen. Prayer point number three. My Father and my Lord, please direct my path. Help me to learn the lessons you want me to learn without repeating unprofitable cycles. Give me a victor's mindset. I won't hinder my own visitation. In Jesus' name, amen. Prayer point number four. The enemy has a strategy, and that is to use the seeming delay to make you give up on God or to give up on his promises. So let's pray. Oh Lord, deliver me from dream killers. Please deliver me from demonic journey, from satanic delay, from every arrow of the enemy. According to your word in Psalm 91 verse 5, I will not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day. Father, fight those who are fighting the manifestation of your glory in my life. Contend with those who are contending with me and save my children. Let every strategy of the enemy over my life fail in Jesus' name, amen. Prayer point number five, I will not miss my appointed time. I will not miss my Kairos time. Let there be a performance of your promises in my life. Lord, hasten your word to perform it. Grant me exceptional testimonies that will bring glory to your name. In Jesus' name, amen. Prayer point number six are your personal prayer requests. I would like to agree with you in prayer. Matthew 18 verse 19 tells us that if any two persons shall agree in the name of Jesus, it shall be done by our Father. Please lift up your voices to God, Almighty God, the Most High One, Omnipotent, All-Powerful. Lift up your requests. In the name of Jesus we pray. Heavenly Father, I agree with all those listening to me right now that their prayers will become testimonies in the name of Jesus. And Father, let their testimonies begin right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for praying along with me. And as we pray further, please feel free to type amen in the chat box. In the name of Jesus, I pray that God will give you the grace to wait for the fulfillment of your promises. 
God will renew your strength as you wait on him. He will give you the grace to run and not be weary. No weapon fashioned against you will prosper and you will fulfill your glorious destiny. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Please join me next Saturday at 8 a.m. West African time for the next edition of Healing Streams. Please like this video and share it. Bless someone today. You might even win a soul. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel you're watching, COD House of Favor or Healing Streams with Femi Kuton. Kindly invite your friends and family to subscribe also. Click the bell icon so you'll be notified when Healing Streams is on air. Thanks to our Facebook family for joining us today. And if you're watching on Instagram, please follow Healing Streams with Femi Kuton. At Healing Streams with Femi Kuton, you can view all the videos in one place. You can view back episodes without scrolling through months and months of material. So we've provided these channels to make it easier for you. And may the healing streams of peace, joy, mercy and love flow towards you and your family. In Jesus' name, amen. Shalom. Shalom.